Hi guys, it's Karen from Marco Acrylics. How are you? Um, I want to give a shout out to Carol and Constance for supporting my channel and to Laura for sending me Australian flow trawl. Oh my gosh, it's the best gift ever. And uh, to Debbie for sending me her secret sauce for CA um, that I haven't tried yet. Um, my heart is heavy tonight. I don't like to talk about, you know, politics and religious and all that on my channel. But man, my heart is so heavy over the murder of George Floyd. Um, I have found it very difficult to be creative the last couple of days. But um, I'm hoping tonight is just a little catharsis and something to cheer me up and hopefully cheer you up. And um, I'm going to kill off all of my uh, artists off ready for pour paint. So uh, let's do that. Let me get you down. Whoa. Random toothpick. There's my new apron. That's fun. Okay. So yeah, I should have just enough to do uh, two 12 by 12s. Um, I'll be honest, I tried um, a couple times on larger canvases like 16 by 20 and uh, the more you stretch these things out the more I find that they got they modeled for me like blemishes in the uh, paint and then they peeled away from the sides for me so um, you know want to give them a fair shake and I think in video 236 I had used them with silicone or silicone I mean sorry and so tonight, these are just going to be straight pours without any additives whatsoever. So I have a bunch of colors. I'll just yell them out as I go along because I'm just going to pour right out of the bottle. So there's a titanium white. And we will use some a bright blue. I do know I want it um, black and white to hit each color. So I'm gonna do that now and, no, wait, I'll do purple next. No, <laughs> can't make up my mind. I'll do green. So aqua green. Some violet. I have a little bit of turquoise, just a little bit left. I think that's going to kill off the turquoise. Yep. So I can buy the turquoise. Uh, and I have a little bit of phthalo blue. And then let's put some black on that phthalo blue. A little bit of green. So this first one we're just going to... Um, do a flip and lip. Try to get some sort of translucent effect going on with it. We'll see how that goes. And then the second one, if I have enough paint, I will do, um, I think I'm just gonna do a triggering pour. And we'll put some blue on that. A little bit of purple. I need this to be a fairly full cup for this 12 by 12. And Let's go with, do I want black again? Did the purple, no, let's go with, let's go with the phthalo blue. And the green. All right. That will be good. I'm gonna lift this up like this. Move these guys out of my way. Let's see how this goes. You can always squirt some color on if we need to, right? All right, ready? Hope this is enough paint. If not, I'll, I'll make up a half a cup or something. I'm gonna lip it 
Ooh, add something right in there. And then we'll just throw some stripes on the corners. Pretty, right? All right, I'm gonna forego gloves too, so let me grab them. Get the power to have it handy. Let's just swirl this around. See if we can get some of the colors to open up. And get something pretty. They're gorgeous when they come out of the bottle, I gotta admit. I mean, just gorgeous. Oh, I wanna keep that little loop. Do I need to keep that loop? I like how I like this twist right here for my, uh, for my lip action. I think I'm gonna make that the focal point. If I can, try to come down and try to keep some of this other loop. I'm gonna get a little corner catcher. If I have one, I thought I had one. Just a little one. Let it spill off. These are the little knits I keep talking about. They drive me crazy. Um, and I kept getting them on uh, big canvases. I don't think that'll bother me too much here. That um, blue's gonna get lighter and lighter as I move over to this corner. But I think the black's gonna go off. So we'll say goodbye to that. Let's get my finger out of it. No, oh, I just splooshed my hand. Hold on. <laughs> really splooged it. Still got my twist going on, my little arches. Really is quite easy. I think these are great for beginners. Um, I think you do need to be careful on how much paint you use because too much um, isn't good. It won't dry right and not enough, it pulls away from the corners. So now let me bring all of this down to the middle. That's my focal point, that, um, that arch thing. And we'll slip that in the middle too. It should help balance out the colors as well. I got one random cell. What's that about? I'm gonna touch up my corners. Just throw some blue on them. Now this will actually be a fast video for Karen, in, in Karen's world, for sure. Oh, speaking of Karen, <laughs> speaking of my name, I find all the um, Karen memes, like, hilarious. Like, I love them all. They just crack me up. That's my sense of humor. But, where was I? Um, we have a Starbucks that's open, um, like the drive through so when you go, and I think they just, even though you're in a car, they just automatically ask your name. So when I ordered my chai tea latte, the guy was like, can I have your name? <laughs> and I said, Karen, and he said, okay, Karen. And I'm like, but I'm the good kind. And he immediately knew there's nothing better than somebody, than telling a joke and having somebody actually get the reference. Is that that's awful. It's like you tell a joke and and people are like, huh? I don't get it. And I was like, I hate that. But he knew what I was talking about and he cracked up laughing. So I've taken to say, every time I have to tell somebody my name, I have to say, it's Karen, but the good kind. <laughs> that's kind of, you know. Anything for a little bit of humor in 2020. Ta-da! I like the composition, I like the colors, I like the pattern. I'm dying to stick my little toothpick in that little, I don't mind these little white knits so much. This one, I'm either gonna make it worse or make it disappear, we'll see. Or maybe at least smaller. Or fainter. That's a little better. That, I swear, I that when this dries, that'll be gone because I will take 
I would take my, uh, what is that, my favorite, is that bright blue? I think that's bright blue. And throw it on there, because that'll just, but in fact, I'm gonna do it now. You know I'm gonna do it now. Where's my phthalo blue? I'm gonna stick my toothpick, toothpick, my toothpick in the bottle. Get some on my toothpick. And dork around with this. And it's just getting whiter. And it's gonna make me mad. Oh my God, it's like the white will not go away. Look at that. It will not go away. I won't. It's like <laughs> it's on. <laughs> I am putting a drop of the blue on my tarp. I'm gonna drop some with my finger on that spot. I don't care if it's a blue spot i'm so over this stuff look at that i just made that totally worse this is how crazy i get oh that's oh my god See, this is why I haven't been painting because I get like this, like really frustrated and just, it's not good. It's not good. Not good at all. I apologize. It's just my mood. For sure, for reals. Like I just wasn't having it. I don't know if you guys ever get that stubborn or not. But clearly I do. And I can get rid of a lot of this blank area of blue. Get rid of the big white. Bring it back. I sacrificed my uh, little twisty thing. So be it. I would like to have one ready pour painting without any weird stuff in it. That might be it right there. That was totally insane. I know, I know. What can I tell you? Let me stare at this. I want more of this blending. I like this. Not so crazy about this, it's rather boring. So I'm gonna take some, some more of that off and hopefully open up some colors underneath. A little bit, anything? Hold on. Kinda. It's really boring. I 
I apologize guys I'm just I'm mentally not into this um, I'm gonna switch gears I'm just gonna move this guy over and do a um, cheering pour see how that turns out I just ruined that that perfectly good piece over a dot a speck if I have paint after the tree ring pour I'll come back to this one I know this video is probably going to turn off some people, but let's reverse the order a little bit. Let's start with a bunch of blue on a turquoise. We'll go with the green. Purple. Black. White. That's horrible.
I'm dirty pouring the colors into my cup instead of layering them. This blending here, before it turns muddy, that's what I'm kind of after. Oh, I just did that color. Go off. Ta-da! I should not paint, paint in my mood. This I love. Love. Not touching it. I, I don't care what kind of tiny imperfections it gets. Um, that's what I was talking about when I was talking about uh, layers and um, I hope I mentioned the transparency of color. That is phenomenal to me. That is beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm gonna move it and swap it out with that first one and see if I have enough paint to dump on the other one. Man, I would love to have two like this. This is just doing my heart some good tonight. Let me... Let me pause the camera a second so I can find something to put this away. And I'll get you guys down close for it at the end. 
Okay, I'm back. And I know this is gonna be crazy. And I feel like, this is gonna sound so cheesy, that I'm just, I'm paint, totally painting with emotion tonight. Um, and I'm gonna wreck this one pretty much the way I did the first one. This part here, that's what I'm going for. I'm so uh, in love with that other one. that I have to try again. It helps if you push the paint with your stick under the paint and not over it. That way you can keep the color. And we're gonna dirty pour on this one too. I'm gonna use that same cup for, cup for luck. And probably kill off. This will be do or die. And if it doesn't work out, I have my masterpiece. Oh yeah. This will be it. Am I out of green? Just about. More purple. Let me see if I have any. Oh, whoa. Let me see if I have any turquoise left. It's been sitting upside down. <clears throat> and any white. And that'll be it. I think the white's gone. Literally a splattering of white. Here's the part I like. This might be dark. It'll match my mood. That stuff. I don't want the waves. I don't want the stripes. I mean, they can go off. I don't want all those stripes. Oh, 
know, Karen, you're gonna make a stupid bikini corner. Don't do that. So you can't force it. You can't force making a second one as awesome as the first one is. And I'll watch you guys will be like, I like the second one better. Because <laughs> that's the way. But no, you'll see the, um, if I can pull this off, you'll see the, uh, the layering of colors. I just need to get rid of some of the white up there. I need it, I wanted it lighter, but then I went a little too much. Yeah, a little more. I think I'm gonna have it touch and then come back. Just touch and bring it back. Oh, I guess it needs to touch a little more. Good. All right, and then come back. And let's put all that layering in the middle. stare at this. It's a little more organized and not as organic as that first one. Um, and like, again, let me wipe off my fingers. Uh, but it has the, uh, it has the layering that I was after. All of this stuff here is, uh, quite amazing. That's it for me with the, um, with the, uh, paint pouring. I hope these dry nice. Uh, I will probably paint that little white thing right there gray when this dries. I'm not going to try and fix it like a, you know. I'm calmer now. My temper's better. I apologize. Um, definitely, like I said, painting with my heart. Um, I've been upset for the last three days. I just, I just can't understand the hate in this country. I just... That's all I'm going to say. But I love you guys. And um, let me put this next to the other one and get you guys done for a close-up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back for the close-up. Here's the second one. Um, I'm really happy with this one as well. I like the first one better. Uh, but I managed to get all of my lines and my layering um, without getting anything muddy. So I'm super, super stoked about that. I think it has a nice balance of dark and light. I like my pattern. The only thing I don't like, like I said, is that little white speck, which I will paint gray when this is dry and you'll never even notice it. But that's what it looks like up high. I'm not real sure of the orientation yet. Oh, there's my barrette. And um, the one I really, really want to show you that I just totally painted from the heart tonight, y'all is this one here. I love everything about this. The dark to the light, the shades of blue, the composition, the layering of the paint, even the flaws, the little cell there that doesn't bother me, the little knits, and we're gonna talk about knits before I go. I think it all just pretty much adds to the painting. Um, and yeah, I just mad, mad love for that. I did do two larger ones off off camera that I meant to film, but like I said, as you could tell by my mood tonight, um, I just, I didn't talk at all. So I didn't post them, but I did one here. This one was more of a fail. Um, let me see if I can turn off my light. I guess not, maybe I'll go on an angle. This one was done with the same exact colors, but using uh, Gat Gate 800 as my pouring medium. I got some fun little lacing and things, but I, I didn't quite pull off the look that I was after like I did tonight. Um, it's just fine, but it, it's not, it was like the good starter painting. I'm sad that I didn't go with the uh, 12 by 12 for this one and get tonight's results on this uh, 16 by 20. And then I did an experiment. Um, <laughs> Uh, here where I did a straight pour with the same colors and then I waited an hour and then I flung silicone an hour later um, so I didn't get the giant um, you know catastrophe 
uh, but it is still Cell City, but they are not as big. Some of them are actually quite beautiful, um, but this is a very Cellie painting and just uh, really not my cup of tea either. So let me flip this around so I can say goodbye. Yeah, that's it for me. Uh, again, thank you for everyone for sending me goodies. Um, my next video, um, I have a request to do a Shelly Art Style 101 video. So I plan to do that because I have Australian float troll. Yay! But I'm also going to try just uh, Amsterdam paint and water as a sew activator as well. So stay tuned for that. Have love in your hearts, y'all. 2020 just sucks. Take care. Bye.